Hey everybody, this is Jim, and I want to give you a quick demonstration of how easy it is to build your very first app with MyPhotoApp.com. Here's the first screen you'll see once you log in for the very first time. To build your first app, you click on Create a New App, and give it a name. I'll give this name Test, click Create App, and up comes the Builder. In the Builder, we have various buttons and widgets you can click on, but to give you a quick overview, we have this visual design section here which shows you what an app will look like. So this is a, a, a skeleton of an app that doesn't have any images in it yet. So let's up some, upload some images into the gallery. So we have the gallery he, section here and right here is a place to upload them. I can either click on this icon to have it let me select images or what I prefer to do is just drag and drop. It's just easier. And once I click and drag and drop, you'll see the images starting to upload. As the images are uploaded, they're processed and uh, sized for the various devices that it'll be displayed on. But once they're uploaded, it will show here in the visual design. So now you get a visual representation of what your app's going to look like approximately when, when it's displayed on a mobile uh, telephone device. So basically, it's a couple columns here and all the images up and down and some buttons at the bottom and the copyright information and our logo at the top. Now this is the default logo that just comes with my photo app. I'll show you how to change that in the next video. But right now we're just showing you how to build an app. So the other thing it did is it took the very first image you uploaded and made it the icon for the app. This is the button that people will push on their mobile device to bring up the app. If you don't like that image, you can select a different one. Let me come down here and find one. Let's do this one and bring it up and just drag and drop it in. And now we've got a different icon image and I can move the crop uh, tool a little bit to crop it in. So it gives you a more finer grain on the on what the image will actually look like. Once you've uh, selected the crop and, and you got the images uploaded to actually build the app is extremely simple. You just click publish. And the app is published just that quick. So it's, it's a live app ready to be uh, distributed to your clients and they can use it on their device. Um, it has the link here that you can click on if you want to bring up the app. I'll click it and you can see the app actually runs on a computer. It gives a representation more of what it would look like on a tablet when it's on a computer. I'll close down this window and come back to this uh, published status information. And what you'll see here at the bottom is some text here that you can highlight, copy, and paste it, and drop it into an email and send it off to your client. And if you don't like the wording that's on here, you can customize it to your own liking just by clicking on the edit button. So that's the very first app that we built. As you can see, it doesn't have your branding information on it at all, but you can find that on our next video. And to get to the next video, it's very simple. You go back to the help panel, come down, come down to instructional videos, and click on customizing app to fit your brand.